Hi, everybody. It's Rebecca, Virginia. And today I am sharing with you my last Valentine's DIY video of the year. To start off, we're going to be using some paper crafting and this item from the Target dollar spot to create this DIY. I loved the little mini envelopes with their Valentines in this DIY. I did find a project in Design Space and that's how I cut this out, but you can always just cut out a similar shape by printing it and then creating the envelope shape. Or there are a couple of links that I will provide down below with some envelopes that you can print and fold out yourself. So I am creating lots of different types of envelopes. I made some smaller ones. These are my larger envelopes, which are in the red. And to do this, I'm just using craft paper, nothing special, and just my Elmer's glue stick to hold everything together. And then I also added some embellishments using my Dollar Tree items. I used the little felt hearts on these medium-sized envelopes. And then I went in with some red hearts on my purple envelopes. And I also made some super tiny envelopes. And for those, I cut out some hearts out of some larger glittery hearts from the Dollar Tree. Um, they were way too big for these envelopes. So I just kind of cut around them to make my smaller heart. But they were the perfect size for the red Valentines. Again, this was just some table scatter from the Dollar Tree that I hot glued on to the front of my Valentine. So now that all of our paper crafting is out of the way, we're going to start with assembly. I found this adorable, I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be, like a little gumball vending machine or something, a little cart. I just thought it was adorable and for $5, it was amazing quality. I did tuck down some Dollar Tree fabric in the bottom so that my Valentine's didn't fall all the way to the bottom of this. And to kind of create an area in the center, I got these plastic hearts last year from the Dollar Tree and I didn't use anything to craft them with. So I placed this down in the center just so that I wouldn't have to use as many Valentines and envelopes. If you want to go ahead and create twice or three times as many as I did, then you can fill the entire, I think it's supposed to be a popcorn cart. You could fill the entire popcorn cart up with your Valentines, but to save me from making too many, I placed this heart in and then I was able to hot glue some of the Valentines onto the heart. But you could also use an empty paper towel roll or just put some more fabric or filling in there so that you don't have to actually fill the entire carton up. For the outside, I took a little bit of hot glue and placed two of my favorite Valentines on there. And then you might recognize this DIY from last year. It was my Love Letters mail bag. And I really liked the sign that I had made, the Love Letter sign. So I went ahead and tied that up at the top to complete this DIY. I love how it came out. I love all things miniature. And I just thought this one was so cute. This next Valentine's Day craft is really just a makeover on an already adorable Dollar Tree item that I just wanted to add a little something extra to. This would be a great DIY if you're not looking for a massive <laughs> undertaking or huge Valentine's Day project, but you just wanna do a little bit of crafting. So this was a very cute bead garland from the Dollar Tree and it did say hugs on it and I just thought that I could make it a little bit more high-end looking. So I went in with the shade Crimson by Waverly in the chalk paint, and I went ahead and covered the entire heart, the front, the back, and the sides in the red color. Then I just went in and added a couple of ribbons. I really liked this lace one. I thought it added a nice texture to the DIY. And then I also went in with a little bit of just plain white ribbon. I thought it was a nice counter to the lace and brought in more of that brightness to that dark red color on the heart. Then the final touch to make it a little bit more shabby chic was adding in a small jute bow to the center of the heart. Not a difficult or time consuming DIY, but a few simple additions make a big impact. 
Next up, we're going to move on to a little bit of a larger DIY project. We are going to create this heart picture frame with the hearts kind of floating on this gold wire. And the first thing, the item that I use in quite a few DIYs, I love the faux wood frames from the Dollar Tree. If you see them, definitely pick them up because I use them in quite a few of my projects. I did distress it a little with some white paint just to give it more of that farmhouse look. For this craft, we're going to be creating three different strands of some nice glittery red hearts. So to do this, I grabbed some gold wire that I had and I am just kind of measuring out how much of the wire I'm going to need. And then once I have cut all of that out, I went in with the hot glue to adhere the wire down to the back of our frame. And again, I'm going to be using three strands of that gold wire, kind of making it in a diagonal shape. So starting off high on the left side and then swooping down lower on the right side. So once I kind of had all of these in place, this is my structure. It's time to start adding in the Valentine's Day core to this project. Since we are gonna be using some bright red glittery hearts, I wanted a more muted bow. So I went with the black and white buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I made a large bow and I have a much more detailed tutorial on how to recreate this bow. So I'll leave that linked at the top of this video so that if you all do want that bow tutorial, you can check it out. But if you already know how to make bows, then you'll just place one in the bottom left-hand corner of your frame. Now we are going into the glittery hearts. These are the same ones that I used in the previous Valentine's Day enveloped DIY. These are table scatter. So I am just grabbing some hot glue and placing it on the gold wire and then onto the hearts so that they are adhered down onto our gold wire frame. I recommend using a low temp heat gun for this section, or if you're like me, I don't think mine has a temperature control. So after I had left it on, I turned it off and while it was starting to cool, I used the hot glue because I wanted to really use my fingers and make sure that the hearts were adhered to the gold wire and didn't flip over. So using my fingers in the hot glue was definitely a plus. So again, I really recommend using low temp so that you don't accidentally burn yourself. Moving on to our next piece of heart decor, we are going to be creating some heart bowl fillers. I showed you in a couple videos past how to create your own no-sew fabric hearts, and this is kind of a different take on that. So to do this, I grabbed the felt hearts from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of about four or six, and for this project, you're going to need four because we're going to be making two, and it is so easy. I grabbed my jute from the Dollar Tree and using it just like I would a needle and thread, I went a little more than three fourths of the way around my felt heart. And then I grabbed some of my filler from Joanne Fabrics and just filled up my heart. However much you do or don't fill up your heart is totally up to you. I wanted mine to be like a medium sized pillow. So I filled them up. Again, if you don't have filler, you can use scrap fabric, pieces of paper, or even a plastic bag to fill up your hearts. Then once I had gotten all the way around my heart, I cut down my jute so that it was a little bit easier to work with. And I just tied a knot to keep everything in place. To give the craft a little bit more of that farmhouse touch, I decided to go with some red and white gingham ribbon. This was the larger kind of thick ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut it in half so that I was able to create something that was a little bit thinner and smaller. And then I went in with a little bit smaller of a jute bow and placed that down in the center. For the next DIY, I wanted to do something that was still Valentine's Day themed, but kind of outside of the realm of the usual pinks and reds. So I went with these farmhouse hearts that are hanging in a garland form. To start off, I had a hanging heart sign and each heart had a letter on it and it said, welcome. This was a great deal from the Dollar Tree because for only $1.25, you got a bunch of these hearts. So I had four left over after I had finished all of my Valentine's Day projects for the year. So I wanted to create this hanging sign. 
To start off with, I am covering the hearts in some paint. I used the color Mineral by Waverly. And then once that was dry, I went in with one thinner coat of the shade Victorian Blue to give that blue-gray look to the hearts. Once that was all dry, it was time to start embellishing our wood hearts. I started off with some lace and for two of the hearts, I put it at a diagonal. And then for two of the hearts, I put the lace on pretty straight on. Once the lace was all on the hearts, I went in with a plain solid ribbon and wrapped that around the top. And then I went in with one more smaller, a little bit more detailed piece of lace and put that over top of the white ribbon, mostly because you could see the hot glue gun marks through the white ribbon. So I didn't like that. So I tried to cover it up with the lace. Then the last thing that I did on the hearts was add these little jute bows. And I mostly added the jute because I wanted it to tie into the jute that I am using for the hangers. I started off by just cutting pretty long pieces of the jute and hot gluing them to the back of the hearts. Then once all of my longer jute strings were adhered to the hearts, it was time to kind of play around with the placing of the hearts, how I wanted them to go. I went with a pretty staggered pattern so that when it's hanging, you can still see all four of the hearts and then once I was happy with the spacing and the placement I went ahead and tied a knot up at the top of our hanging hearts lastly to tie in the lace on the hearts I went ahead and I had a little bit spare lace ribbon so I just tied that in a knot up at the top I really liked this hanging just in my dining room area, but you could also place it on a door hanger and have it on the outside of your door or just use it as an indoor sign like me. I had so much fun making shabby chic Valentine's Day DIYs last year, so I wanted to at least do a couple this year. So for this one, I found some gorgeous tissue paper, so I wanted to use it in a DIY. I just didn't know how. So I had some of those leftover hearts from the long welcome sign, so I thought this would be the perfect vessel for that really pretty tissue paper. I just grabbed a paintbrush and painted on some Mod Podge. There was some red paint left over on my paintbrush, so that's why the red is kind of showing up but it dried clear so it didn't even matter then I put the tissue I did pull it apart because it was two ply so I made sure it was the thin part of the tissue and I just laid that right on top of the heart and kind of pressed it nice and wrinkle free with my hands and then it was just really easily able to rip off that excess little bits of tissue paper around the heart I also fussy cut which was just as close as I possibly could, cutting out various butterflies out of the tissue paper and adhering that down with a little bit more Mod Podge. I'm gonna be placing the heart on a stained Dollar Tree palette. I added a little bit of jute on the side of the palette for some fun texture, and I wanted to use these shabby chic stickers that I found, but wasn't really sure how. And what did you know? It had a butterfly sticker, so I thought that was perfect to add on to our heart. I completed it with a small jute bow and also tied together those jute strands on the side of the palette, kind of cinched it in at the center. And I had a button that said handmade with love, so I thought that went perfectly with our shabby chic DIY. If maybe you don't have time for a DIY, but you still wanna incorporate some Valentine's Day spirit into your home, I have some free principles here. I will link them down below. I placed them in two of my favorite Dollar Tree frames, but you could use any frames that you have around the house. Be sure to check those out in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.